In a move that sent shockwaves through British Columbia's political landscape, BC United leader Kevin Falcon announced the suspension of his party's election campaign. This unprecedented decision, just weeks before the provincial election, has left voters and analysts grappling with its implications. Falcon's announcement came as a surprise to many, throwing BC politics into a state of uncertainty. The decision to suspend the campaign has raised numerous questions about the party's future and Falcon's leadership. Was it a strategic maneuver, a sign of internal turmoil, or both? Only time will tell. Kevin Falcon cited the need to unite the centre-right vote as the driving force behind his decision. He argued that a divided right would pave the way for an NDP victory, an outcome he believes would be detrimental to the province. Falcon's concerns stemmed from the emergence of the BC Conservatives, a party he viewed as siphoning crucial votes away from BC United. Despite efforts, the merger talks ultimately collapsed, leaving Falcon with the difficult decision of how to proceed. He concluded that suspending BC United's campaign and urging his supporters to back the BC Conservatives was the best course of action. Whether this strategic manoeuvre will yield the desired outcome remains to be seen. BC United's decision to suspend its campaign injects a considerable amount of uncertainty into the upcoming election. With the centre-right vote now potentially split, the NDP's path to victory seems less daunting. The NDP, led by Premier David Abbey, now finds itself in a surprisingly strong position. While some BC United supporters may heed Falcon's call to rally behind John Rostad's party, others may feel disillusioned and abstain from voting. This unpredictable voter behaviour makes it challenging to gauge the extent to which the BC Conservatives will benefit. If a significant number of former BC United members decide to run independently, they could further fragment the electorate. This fragmentation could lead to an even more unpredictable election outcome. The future of BC United hangs in the balance following the suspension of its campaign. While Falcon has urged his party supporters to back the BC Conservatives, it's unclear whether this will translate into a formal merger. The possibility of a merger raises questions about the ideological alignment of the two parties. The decision also leaves the fate of individual BC United candidates in limbo. Some, like Todd Stone and Shirley Bond, have publicly stated their intention to remain independent, while others may opt to run as independents. This period of uncertainty could lead to internal divisions within BC United. The coming weeks will be crucial in determining whether BC United can survive as a viable political entity. The suspension of BC United's campaign has elicited a wide range of reactions from rival political parties and analysts. This unexpected move has sent shockwaves through the political arena, prompting a flurry of statements and speculations. Premier David Eby and the NDP have largely refrained from commenting directly, choosing instead to reiterate their commitment to governing in the best interests of all British Columbians. By maintaining a focus on their policy agenda, they aim to project stability and continuity amidst the unfolding drama. This strategic silence allows the NDP to appear above the fray, while their opponents grapple with internal divisions. It's a calculated move to avoid getting entangled in the controversy, thereby preserving their image as the steady hand in turbulent times. BC Conservative leader John Rustad has welcomed the move, viewing it as an opportunity to consolidate the right-wing vote. Rustad has been vocal about his intentions to capitalize on this situation, seeing it as a chance to strengthen his party's position. Rustad has hinted at the possibility of absorbing some BC United candidates into his party but has remained vague on the specifics. This ambiguity leaves room for speculation about potential alliances and shifts within the political landscape. Political analysts have offered a variety of perspectives on the situation. Some see it as a game changer that could realign political loyalties while others are more cautious, suggesting that the long-term effects are still uncertain. Some believe that BC United's decision could benefit the BC Conservatives, while others maintain that it will ultimately play into the hands of the NDP. The debate continues as experts weigh the potential outcomes and implications for future elections. The suspension of BC United's campaign has undoubtedly shaken up the political landscape in British Columbia, 
this development has introduced a new dynamic, forcing all parties to reassess their strategies and positions. Only time will tell how this political earthquake will reshape the balance of power in the province. As the dust settles, the true impact of this decision will become clearer, revealing the new contours of British Columbia's political future. The current state of flux in BC politics has drawn comparisons to past instances of political realignment. The decline of the Social Credit Party in 1991 witnessed a similar fragmentation of the right-wing vote, paving the way for an NDP victory. The Social Credit Party, once a dominant force, crumbled under internal divisions and scandals, creating a void that the NDP capitalized on. Another historical parallel can be drawn to the rise of the Reform Party in the 1990s. The Reform Party emerged from dissatisfaction with the Progressive Conservative Party, contributing to the latter's decline. While these historical comparisons provide insights, it's important to acknowledge that BC's political landscape has transformed since the 1990s. New parties have emerged, the electorate has become more diverse, and the issues at stake have evolved. Therefore, it's crucial to recognize the unique dynamics at play in the current situation. As the political drama unfolds, public opinion will ultimately determine the winners and losers in this high-stakes game. The voices of the electorate, expressed through various channels, will shape the political landscape in ways that are both predictable and surprising. Public opinion polls conducted in the wake of BC United's campaign suspension will provide valuable insights into how voters are reacting. These surveys will capture the immediate sentiments of the public offering a snapshot of the political climate. These polls will shed light on which parties are gaining or losing ground as a result of BC United's decision. Analysts will pore over the data, looking for trends and shifts that could indicate a change in voter allegiance. One potential outcome is that BC United's move could backfire, alienating moderate voters who see it as undemocratic. This perception could create a ripple effect, causing discontent among a broader base of the electorate. This disillusionment could lead to lower voter turnout, particularly among those who previously supported BC United. Apathy and frustration might keep these voters at home, reducing their impact on the election. Conversely, BC United's decision could galvanize right-wing voters, viewing it as a necessary step to prevent an NDP victory. This could energize the base, leading to increased activism and voter turnout among right-wing supporters. This consolidation of the right-wing vote could propel the BC Conservatives to victory. A unified front could prove to be a formidable force in the election, altering the balance of power. However, voter behavior is unpredictable, and any number of factors could influence the final outcome. External events, last-minute campaign strategies, and unforeseen developments could all play a role in swaying voter decisions. The ultimate impact of BC United's decision will be revealed on Election Day when the people of British Columbia will have their say. The culmination of these dynamics will be seen in the final tally, reflecting the collective will of the voters. The suspension of BC United's campaign has implications that extend far beyond the immediate outcome of the election. The future of the party itself is uncertain, and its potential dissolution could lead to a significant reshuffling of the political spectrum. If BC United were to dissolve, it could create a void in the centre-right, potentially leading to the emergence of new parties. This situation also raises fundamental questions about the viability of a centrist political force in BC. With the BC Liberals having rebranded as BC United and subsequently suspending their campaign, it remains to be seen whether there is still an appetite for a centrist party. The decline of centrist parties is a trend observed in other Western democracies, and BC may be no exception. The coming months and years will be crucial in determining how this event will reshape the political landscape in BC. As the dust settles from the initial shock of BC United's decision, a number of unanswered questions linger. The political landscape has been shaken, and the ramifications are still unfolding. It remains unclear how many BC United candidates will ultimately choose to join the BC Conservatives and how many will opt to run as independents. This decision is not just about party allegiance but also about personal political futures and the strategic calculations each candidate must make. 
The decision of each candidate will likely be influenced by a variety of factors, including their personal political beliefs and their assessment of their chances of winning. They must weigh the potential benefits of aligning with a new party against the risk of losing voter trust and support. The level of support that the BC Conservatives will receive from former BC United voters is another unknown. Voter loyalty is often unpredictable and the shifting allegiances could dramatically alter the political dynamics in the province. Will Falcon's endorsement be enough to sway a significant number of voters or will some be disillusioned and choose to stay home on election day? The power of endorsements can be significant but they are not always a guarantee of voter turnout. The answers to these questions, along with other unforeseen factors, will determine the impact of BC United's decision on the upcoming election. Political analysts are already speculating on various scenarios, but the true outcome remains to be seen. Only time will tell what the future holds for the province's political landscape. But one thing is certain.